Over the past couple months, the department issued two critical studies, one uh, related to geothermal and one was the National Transmission Needs Study for 2023. I think both of these studies, very important, very timely, um, but two very glaring omissions. It, they were national studies, but they somehow or other forgot two states. I just don't understand it. Actually, I find it inexcusable and astonishing that Hawaii and Alaska would not be included, particularly in a study for geothermal. When you're thinking about geothermal heat and volcanoes, what do you think of? You think of Hawaii, you think of Alaska. Um, and so it, 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 was, it was remarkable. Uh, we saw one briefing uh, provided to Congress. Uh, the slide simply showed the resources in the lower 48, and there was a question mark over Alaska and over Hawaii. And in the GeoVision report, uh, the department cites a couple reasons for the exclusion. And they said that the modeling was used primarily, the modeling that was used was primarily designed for the contiguous United States. Okay, I can kind of get that. But the fact of the matter is, is Hawaii and Alaska are never going to be part of the contiguous United States. And so if, if we're going to just completely uh, keep them out of any future assessments, I think we would agree that that's not right, that's not reasonable. So I would ask you to commit to conducting a study of the geothermal resources that we have in Alaska and in Hawaii. Well, l let me say this, Senator. And, um, uh, I'm not sure this is done that often in DC hearings, but uh, we need to do better. Thank you. And um, I'm heading to Alaska in a few weeks, as you know, and uh, looking forward to having whatever meetings you find helpful right. uh, to make sure that I'm aware our secretary has been up there as well, visiting yeah. with you, and making sure that all of us throughout the department, not just our Arctic Energy Office and Aaron Whitney, who's our new leader of that office, but all of us at the department are doing what we should. On the transmission needs uh, study, we are uh, um, we have relied on existing modeling for that need study. It's an interim, and now we're putting the final together, and Alaska will be part of that final need study, and we're working okay. on that to make sure. Uh, we need to, frankly, work with you and work with others to make sure we have the modeling, we sh have the analysis either that we do or that others do so that we can make good resource decisions off on that front. But we're making improvements on the transmission needs study. Okay. And on the map issue, uh, I spent a significant time yesterday and today with colleagues at our department. We need to do better on that front. I really appreciate you, you recognizing that um, Alaska is not going to be at a disadvantage when it comes to federal funding because we're not part of that transmission needs study. So I thank you for that commitment. I also thank you for committing that you can do better, and I appreciate the fact that you are coming to, to the state of Alaska. As you note, uh, Secretary Granholm has had an opportunity to be uh, up north, uh, see one small geothermal um, uh, community, if you will. We're, we're certainly uh, happy to include you in that site visit, but there's a lot more, uh, certainly, that we can, can look to.